Hi, I'm Wayne Flo, CEO of Flow International. And I'm Don Vandermey, President of Flow. And today we're here to talk about the new Cargo Max. After 25 years of engineering world class trailers, the Cargo Max is by far our best designed trailer ever. And it all starts with our Ultra Body. The Ultra Body is constructed with a high density polymer that will never rust, dent, rot, or need paint ever. And the Ultra Body can withstand very high impact. Yeah, last winter, I took a trailer outside, left it outside overnight, it was 23 degrees below zero, and I took a sledgehammer to it, and I was gonna see how hard I'd have to hit it before it would break. I found out that I could not break the trailer. I could make the trailer skip sideways, hitting it as hard as I possibly could, but it would not break. What's more is the Ultra Body has unbelievable strength. The one-piece unibody incorporates the sidewall with the floor system. Yeah, and on the floor system, exclusive to the Cargo Max, is the thermal-formed truss system on the floor. This adds a tremendous amount of strength to the floor as compared to other floors you would see on the market. Wood is a common utility trailer floor. It doesn't really add a whole lot of strength. It also cracks and it molds and it just doesn't weather very well. Also, you see a lot of utility trailers using a steel mesh floor. That will not hold any dirt or aggregate, first of all, but it also, the, the spot welds will pop loose. It starts to rust pretty much immediately. Another thing you'll see on the competition is an aluminum floor. Aluminum floor is something we used years ago, but the issue with the aluminum floor is that it would dent. And the other thing about an aluminum floor is in order to keep your trailer somewhat lightweight, you have to use thin aluminum and thin aluminum can also puncture. I want to talk for just a second about the fender on the Cargo Max. It's a custom form fender and it's made out of the same highly impact resistant polymer. It adds a lot of style and design to the trailer and it also isn't going to rust or dent like the competitive models do. At the heart of the Cargo Max is our exclusive aluminum superstructure. It's designed with many different custom extrusions, which make it lightweight yet super strong. Yeah, big difference between that design and a common utility trailer. Most utility trailers are made out of one component, like a piece of angle iron like this. Uh, it's usually steel, so it's rusty and it just doesn't look good or last very long. Again, with custom extrusions, we can extrude a certain shape and we can build in a feature. In this case, we've built in a feature that protects the light. If you were to back into a tree, you won't have any damage. Additionally, we have the wiring system that's encased inside this hollow tube here. So it's never exposed to the elements and it won't get snagged when you're driving over obstacles. Yeah, more big differences again between that and typical wiring and lighting. Like this light is common on a utility trailer. It's typically bolted to a bracket which is welded to the frame. It's very low on the trailer, it's easy to break off. With their wiring, it's typically, since they don't have a hollow tube, it's a wire that's clipped onto the angle iron and it just doesn't last very long. As you can see, when all the extrusions come together, it makes for a great looking frame. And not only is it good looking, even jumping with over 200 pounds on the corner, you can see it's very rigid. Now contrast that to an angle iron frame. Wow, imagine that flimsy thing going down the road with your $10,000 ATV. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's talk about the tongue. Great idea, Don. As you can see here, the Cargo Max comes standard with a tongue jack and a dolly wheel. This makes it a lot easier to hook up to your tow vehicle and move it around. Yeah, and just look at the size difference between the competitor's tongue and that on the flow trailer. Yeah, you can see all this added depth here gives you uh, a much stronger tongue. And that's allowed us to make the tongue much longer for easy maneuverability. And when you're backing up, the trailer doesn't jackknife nearly as easily. And as you can see, the tongue here is incorporated right into the superstructure of the trailer. This here is called the tongue receiver. So you have the tongue into the tongue receiver and the tongue receiver goes all the way back past the axle. And it makes for a super strong assembly. Just like the trailer frame, the tailgate ramp is extremely strong and it's so lightweight I can literally lift it with two fingers. Here, Don, give me a hand with the steel when it's quite heavy. Yep, it's a beast. <laughs> 
It's an ugly beast. But what I really don't like is that it's so tall. And even with mesh, it creates a lot of wind resistance and it totally kills your fuel economy. Yeah, and with the price of gas, you just can't have that. Another big difference on the Cargo Max as compared to the competition is this independent rubber torsion suspension. Independent means it has two articulating arms that move back and forth. So if, if this wheel here hits a road bump, it doesn't affect the other side of your trailer. It's truly an independent suspension. Yeah, if you compare that to the leaf spring suspension that we typically see on the competition's trailers, the leaf springs are fastened directly to the axle. So when one wheel hits a bump, both wheels are influenced by that bump. Also, as you can see, the leaf spring and all the components are totally exposed. So they get very rusty, they're breaking down and eventually they're gonna fail. Yeah, that, that's a good point because on the rubber torsion suspension, you have your suspension inside here. The rubber cords are contained within, so they're not exposed to the elements and corrosion. Additionally, this has a one point grease system. You simply put your grease gun on the end here and you grease all the way through both bearings without any disassembly at all. But compare that to the hub on the competitor trailer, there is no grease cirque. To re-grease this one, I need to fully disassemble it, take the bearings out, pack grease inside, put it back together, and it's just a mess. And speaking of a mess, if you look at this wheel, it's your typical white painted rim, and they rust right away and they just don't look good. While this one here has a special e-coat system that completely resists rust and corrosion. And if you really want to dress your trailer up, on your Cargo Max, you can add our alloy mag wheels. The perfect complement to your trailer. I know we already talked about this, but this is the perfect opportunity to show the difference between the bright, long-lasting LED lights on the Cargo Max and the standard incandescent bulbs that frequently burn out on the competition. That's a good point, Don. But what we're really here to discuss is the differences between these two ramps and the way that you can load and unload each trailer. Don, can you give me a hand here? With this trailer, you got to pull back on the spring-loaded pin. You got to get to both sides. And with the Cargo Max ramp, you simply squeeze the quick release and tilt it to the ground. Now, in the level mode position like this, you can load ATVs, high clearance items, and both trailers are perfectly capable of doing that. And that's where the similarities end. The Cargo Max has additional loading positions. As you can see here in the limited tilt mode, you can see the trailer bed is on the same plane with the trailer ramp. And what that allows you to do is load a low clearance item such as a motorcycle or a riding lawnmower. Another great feature on the Cargo Max ramp is you can remove it in seconds with no tools. You simply tilt it and pull it off. With the ramp out of the way, you could even back this trailer into the water because the lights are uh, submersible and you could load a personal watercraft. Now in the full tilt dump mode, you could load other items such as aggregate or anything else you need to slide out of the bed. And you can also see in the Cargo Max bed, there are eight fold away anchor points for securing just about any type of cargo. Hopefully after this demonstration, you can see why we feel that the Cargo Max is the best engineered utility trailer designed and on the market today. And why you get more for your money. Absolutely.